Well, hello there. Hopefully there was guitar in that intro. Who knows these days, to be honest. Woo! So today's video, we're going to talk about a question that I see a lot in the comment section. And that is uh, actually asking about this guitar in particular. But it's not really a demo. I've done a demo of this guitar. If you want to check it out, if you don't know what this guitar is, uh, this is my Friedman Vintage T. This is one of my favorite guitars. But more so people ask, is it worth it? Is, is getting a, you know, a custom shop guitar worth it? And I thought, you know what, I didn't realize, but I've had this guitar for over a year now. And this guitar was um, a lot of first for me. And I was like, you know what, maybe I can just kind of explain my experience with it. Because there is a certain like connection that you have to a guitar whenever it is basically built the way that you want it to be built. And um, it just has this really strong connection. So I thought I would explain kind of my experience. Uh, some of you guys who have, maybe it's a Friedman, maybe it's a Tommy Anderson, Sir, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe you can chime in as well, because there's a lot of this debate that, you know, custom shop guitars aren't worth it. Oh, they are worth it. Oh, they're too much. You know, all these different uh, topics kind of come up. So let's talk about it. Okay, now for me, um, you know, just like with any guitar, I I've played plenty of custom shop guitars that, that weren't my own, but they were either friends or other things, and they had just done nothing for me. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why some guitars connect with you, some guitars don't. Uh, I, I have a friend even who is a guitar builder who asked me, he's like, what do you like so much about this guitar? Because, um, you know, on, on the surface, it, it, it's a, you know, deluxe telly with P90s in it. I'm like, honestly, I don't, I don't know why, but I just like connected with this guitar so much. And um, I don't know if it was because, you know, like when I ordered it, it was built specifically for me. You know, it was the way that I wanted it to be. Uh, I've mentioned it before, um, even Sirs, I'm not trying to bag on any brand. Um, I've played a lot of Sirs, and uh, I really haven't connected with any of them. Uh, the only one I really did like was the Pete Thorne. I remember playing his at GitCon. It was his like turquoise one. Uh, that one I really liked. I liked that one a lot. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I've played a bunch of them and they just haven't spoke to me and I don't know why. Certain guitars do, certain ones don't, but um, when I got this guitar, oh man, did, did it just connect with me. I remember opening the case, uh, you get that new guitar smell. Uh, this one, like I mentioned before, was a lot of firsts for me. So uh, first thing off is I had, I had never owned a P90 guitar. Now if you've been watching the channel for a while, P90s have just like taken over my life. Like I can't believe I waited so long to get a guitar with P90s in it. Um, I absolutely, uh, they're just so, they're everything, you know. They're thick and fat, and at the same time, they're bitey. You know, like I, I like single coils for the crisp, humbuckers for the thickness. Oh my god, P90s are the perfect. Because I just feel like, you know, a single coil is a very dynamic pickup, at least whenever it's in my hands. Um, I tend to be more dynamic. Humbuckers are a much more robust full sound. And this just allows me to have all those same dynamics that I like of a single coil and all that thickness of a humbucker. Yeah, they, they just respond really well to my hand. So, you know, the P90 thing for this one, me in particular, was really, really, it was, it was a dice roll. Because like I said, I'd never had a P90 guitar. Um, I had played some of these at the Winter Nam before I ordered this one, and I believe at Summer Nam, or maybe it was Gear Fest. I think it was Gear Fest, uh, Sweetwater. And I played these, and I loved the, the neck shape. I loved everything about it. And I was, uh, but I played one with humbuckers, and I was like, okay, it sounds really, really good. And I played one with P90s in it, and I was like, whoa. You know, this is where I think, you know, before you order a guitar, if, if you can play anything similar to what you think you're going to order, um, it's, you know, it's a shoe in Like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Um, so to me, you know, it, it totally is worth it. Now, like I said, this was the first for me with P90s. It's also the first guitar I've ever had relic, like a, like a heavy relic job on this thing. And um, some people, you know, hate the idea of relicing a guitar. Uh, they think it's dumb. 
Um, to me, what happened was I was I was in the process of ordering one of these. I was gonna order a gold one. I thought it just looked really cool. And uh, my buddy Jeff over at you know boutique posted this picture of this telly that looked it was very similar to this one. It was all beat up. I was like I I don't care that that guitar is relic. I want to play that guitar forever. <laughs> And it just really spoke to me, and and that's when I told him I was like, you know what? I don't want the gold one. Um, I want one a tobacco burst just like that one. Beat it up, maybe not as intense. It was really like really really relic, um, even more so than this one if you can believe it. But I was like, you know, I don't. Maybe I don't want it that that intense, but I do want it beat up, you know, in a similar fashion. And and they just knocked it out of the park. I think it, honestly, I think this is one of the best relic jobs I've ever seen on a guitar. Um, so. You know, the fact that I, I, you know, got to choose, you know, the look of the guitar, which we, we might kind of like say it's not important, but I have always said, I think you play a guitar with your eyes first, you know? So you look at it, and if the guitar makes you want to play it, yo, that, that's a good sign. And then when you play it, and your hands just like, it just feels like butter, hot, gooey butter, uh, in your hands, then I think you've really got just a match made in heaven. <laughs> So, um, like I said, uh, to, to get to get a custom shop guitar, I I think it is an amazing experience. You know, uh, the one downside there is one very powerful downside is that um, you have you have to wait you know a very long time to get um, a guitar like this. And the, I think what could happen, now it didn't happen to me, I, I was really lucky, but you order this guitar and you kind of can like hype yourself out of it. You know, you're expecting too much. And then when you finally get it, maybe it's not everything you wanted it to be. So make sure that for one, it's a brand that you really enjoy. Just don't go with some random custom shop brand that you've never played before, just because they're a little bit cheaper. Um, odds are you probably won't like that. And then, you know, you'll just waste your money. Uh, I say save up until you can get whatever one you really, really want uh, and get that, you know, because there is a special mojo to these, you know, a guitar that is, you know, basically you designed it. I mean, like, obviously I didn't design the guitar, it's a telly, but, um, you know, when I was going through this stuff, they're like, what do you want in it? And I'm like, okay, I want this, I want this. I go, I want this neck profile um, of the, you know, the T that I had played. I was like, I want this. Um, you know, I want this kind of headstock. I want like these, not, you know, there's just so many options that you can do. And I was like, you know, they, um, a lot of theirs had tremolos. So the one I played had a trim, but what I wanted was a hardtail. So you can see mine, uh, mine is a hardtail telly, which are more, you know, traditional, uh, but they make them with trims. I mean, you can put a Floyd Rose in one, I imagine if you wanted to, they, you can kind of just do whatever you want. But, um, you know, the compound radius neck and one of the coolest things for me was that the guitar was plecked. So if you don't know what that is, it's this machine, and I don't, honestly, I don't know what it does, but it just basically sets the guitar up perfectly, you know? And I think that's part of why this guitar spoke to me so much. And uh, you can see I have, I have dents in the frets from just playing it so, so much. You know, I, 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 I tell people all the time, uh, my Les Paul is my number one, and this guitar is right up there with it. You know, it, it just has mojo. I've, I've put serious hours in on this thing. Uh, uh, it's, it's one that uh, I plan on using live whenever I can. And I don't know, like I, I'm just, you know, as someone who's on the fence maybe, I say go for it. If it's a brand that you've tried their guitars before and you really enjoy them and you know what you're after, how can you go wrong with that? That That is, a, is you know, the, the ingredients for a great experience. And you'll have a truly unique guitar because, like I said, for me, whether you like the relicking or not, uh, you know, I think it would be pretty much impossible, not impossible, but, you know, uh, I doubt Friedman could perfectly replicate every little inch of this guitar. So, you know, the fact that it's relicked um, and this, you know, guitar that I ordered, it's, you know, it's kind of special. It's, it's unique. It's, it's, it's almost like a one of a kind, is, I guess is the way you could look at it. Because you can see the back is super, super relic. And, um, you know, I think it would be really hard to replicate this. So I've seen messages from you guys who said that, you know, you, you've seen pictures of the ones that you ordered uh, and you asked them to make it look, you know, similar to this one. 
which is funny because it all stems from that first picture that I saw from Jeff. But um, you know what, man? I, I, if this is something that you've wanted, just just save up. If you do what I do, man, I I sell a bunch of stuff that I'm not using, and I put that money towards a guitar that I think is gonna be gonna be super inspiring, you know, and just make me want to play. And I I still to this day I see this guitar sitting on the rack, and I can't help but want to pick it up and play it. So the fact that it does that alone is is worth you know the investment, but also the fact that. It's just one of my favorite guitars. It's, it's, it's so worth it. I mean... Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys later. Let me know if, if you hated this video or if you liked it. You know, either one. A comment's a comment, right? So, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh, you know what? I'll play some rhythm for you here so you can jam. So maybe if it was a, a worthless video, at least you'll get the little jam section. So I'll lay down some rhythm and uh, just solo your face off. So, here we go.